Hello, it's Sua here at the Virtual Benedetti Sessions and today we have tutorial number four. We will be looking at the Paganini uh, for Advanced Orchestra. So um, I hope that last week wasn't too much of a scare. I, uh, it was quite an epic um, tutorial number two um, on the Paganini and um, I just wanted to make sure you had plenty of material to help you get started on it. Please don't worry if you if any of it was um, too much. Um, what we're going to do today is break it down and um, just look at them all gently for you to play along with. Um, so if for last week's what I would recommend because it's there was a lot of information about how to practice each variation you, what you could do is go back to tutorial number two um, and just pause it after each variation and so you can work at each one so it's not going along too fast. But today we're just going to go through it gently, a little under tempo and all so you can just play along the whole time. Um, okay, well let's get started. I hope you've done the warm-ups. They're a lot of fun and everything is ni nice and ready to go, mind and body. Before we start, we're just going to do the little balancing test. Um, so this is um, moving on from the warm-ups where we were just making sure that every wrist action, finger action, it's, it's about making sure that we have contact with every single bit of the bow. So when you place it down, you're not guessing when it's going to touch the string. You know exactly when it's going to touch because you are your fingers on the bow and your arm are all very, very aware of every point in the bow. Um, in the middle of the bow, let's just start on... Um, on the D string for now, and we're going to do the dotted rhythm at the beginning. So after two, one, two. And so that's just using um, a little finger pulse to make the bow, bow articulate. I'm going to do it on the A string now, one, two. movement not not too heavy now let's let's try the first um, theme uh, with the with left hand in place too so find your A I recommend you start with the second finger uh, after two slightly, slightly under one two So that's the whole of the first uh, theme. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm using very small bows, nothing too excessive. There's, it's not big, it's not major movements at this stage. It's just a nice gentle statement of the theme. Um, I hope you um, worked a little bit on the shifting. I'm just putting in the first guide, the first finger is a guide position change though. Moving to third position, to fourth position, and then to fifth, I guess, substituting the two, and then second, and then first position. So let's put that together. One, two. Speed it up a little bit. Ready? So, dum, ba, da, 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 da. Uh, after two, a one, two. Okay, and the conciseness, even though it gets loud in variation one, let's keep the bows really nice and compact. So just almost, just think about using just the heel. I'm really only using a couple of inches. We'll start a bit under. So one, two, one. One. Okay, very, very good. 
good just in terms of fingering in as it gets uh, the passage gets a little trickier from bar 37 i would one and then after this every single bar for the next five bars starts with a four so i would get um, a four on the d and use the open to get across the string it just gives you a little bit more time it's like uh, a cheat amount of time to get across the string. Open, and same here, four, open, and again. So you get extra time to cross. Four, open, and then here, four, and then shift to two, and again, shift, shift, and shift. So C on the last one, I shift after the B. You can just break that up. Because you want to move really fast and use that open A to, to shift. So from the F in bar 41, a one, two. that hard let's just break and uh, let's just do a tiny little pause between every shift one and shift 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 so we do that again with the shift time shift 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 in, in te slow tempo, but without the pauses. One, two. Brilliant. Um, just for fun, let's do it up to speed. And do not worry if you're not yet up to speed. You take your time. Um, these things just get built up slowly. We've got, um, we've still got another two weeks for this. Uh, one, two. Brilliant. Um, okay, moving on to variation two. Um, this is that wonderful stroke that we did in, um, last week. So really feel feel those rests right in the pit of your stomach. So um, and as I said. Every quaver is every eighth note is accounted for. So somewhere in the orchestra, someone is playing every eighth note. So just really feel them in your body and in your ears. We can do this one up to speed. So it's about the articulation. So this, the the eighth note at the end has plenty of punch. So use a little bit more uh, punchy first first finger, but stay nice and rounded and loose. Don't forget to keep every part of the. The, the bow hole nice and rounded. A one, two. three. So variation three is all about um, the repeated down bows that I spoke about last week, um, keeping the bow super compact and as slow as you can in the time that you have. That's the, the right hand and the left hand you're just moving between um, the open fourth which is one on the E to a flat finger fifth. So, so you're kind of getting up and lying sitting down and if you get that motion nice and fluid that's it you've got you've cracked it so let's do from the beginning a bit under speed uh, nice slow compact bows don't worry about the dynamic right now um, with the double stops and the a strings it's going to be loud enough just nice and gentle so oh under speed one and two and So really 
am in some ways I'm barely having to move very much and I'm not gripping the bow very hard at all. Nice gentle bow, everything soft and rounded. Let's play that a little faster. Yum, bum, bum, bum. One and two and <laughs> my thumb and second finger um, and just making sure my left hand is standing up nicely uh, it, with curved fingers so you've got lots of clearance for that G string underneath. So just play your bottom line and then and we also spoke about just swiveling from a bow hold to tucking it in and getting the thumb over. See like that. So nice fast pizzicato bow. You're going from that shape. Uh, how can you easily see it? No, like that, that shape, to that shape. And it's just a matter of moving the thumb round. But the fingers are roughly in the same position. So from bar seven to two, one and two and Last one. There's plenty of resonance on the open A, so don't worry about having to hold it right to the end. Um, let's do it from 72 up to speed as well. So one, two. Brilliant. And then we go to almost half speed for this variation. All we, we need to do is watch Karina for the speed. Uh, this harmonic is just a uh, first finger fourth position over the E and just if you, I'm sure most of you know where it is but and the tremolo it just requires the, the most lightest of touches you barely need any and you're just moving the fingers gently everything's loose so just just Make sure your whole arm isn't tight and you're not rigid. It's just, just the fingers. And if it doesn't speak very well, um, just go close to the bridge. Just, but really gentle. Very good. The thing about the tremolo is only that um, we need to move in time. So it's uh, even though it's a slow speed. fun with this it's beautiful uh, it's a lovely lovely cello tune so let's play it together um, and again it's slightly slower again one two <laughs> a little bit slower and I'm just going to explain some of the uh, shifting. So starting first position, shift here, shift back to here, shift here, one and first position, etc. And then at 101, um, staying in first position, and stretching up and to second position. 
position. Back to first. Position, but one is extended and closed to third position, back to first, half, third position. Right, if, you, if I was going a bit too fast, just rewind and um, take, a, take a pencil and notate that down. Uh, going to the uh, last little section at 113, and then first, extended. Position. First position, third position, third position, first finger, back to first position. Okay, very, very good. And the, and the thing to concentrate on is just as smooth a bow as you can. Um, really nice glue. Just... but it never it never really stops you it's like you've got a um, a, a wave like motion all the time nothing ever stops or uh, gets stiff so just try and stay floating all the time and moving um, try and preempt the um, the string crossings so just make sure you're moving all the time in circular motion let's go on so this variation six is almost twice the speed. Um, so from before you've got the one, two, so it's now one, two, one, two. I'll play it, we'll try and play it together, maybe it's slightly under. So let's play under speed, a one, two. Here throughout the orchestra but we're only playing the bass line of that so maybe it's it's worth just tapping that for yourself so this is the beat under speed but um, just say with me I'll say it first and then you can join me as soon as you can so um, ba, 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 ba. thing to have is to put things on cycles so um, just repeat the two bars it saves a lot of time just repeat two bars one two here 
uh, just needs really concise little bows. So if you if you're using too much bow, it takes too long. You won't you won't be able to stay in time. So um, let's just use tiny tiny bows and keep it nice and concise. So from one five three, one two one. <laughs> repeating passage at 161 because you you've got four notes on an up let's just make sure you always get back to the middle so you can one repeat one so you're just putting a bow back to the middle to be able to play that let's just um do the last little um little flurry together a bit under one and two and one and two and um, and there you just need to have your fifth but allow uh, a stand up flattened bar there so you can play the open A a little bit faster one two and again one two and um, this time we'll do it a little faster still with the last chord uh, so there one, two. two, brilliant. So now um, just use that, you can go over them nice and gently, slowly, um, take your time, pause the videos um, and do some a little bits of work on your own and then come back. Just keep persevering with it um, and yeah, be kind, be gentle and we'll see you next week.